Hi everyone. I wanted to talk today a little bit about my kit storage. So you probably know by now that I keep my kits by collections. Um, I really, that works the best for me. It's for a few different reasons. It's a grab and go. So when I'm ready to come in here and scrapbook, I can grab a collection. Most of Okay, not most. About half of my collections have photos with them, which I will talk about in another video. And some of them don't. But some of them I also know mentally, ooh, that would go really good with that picture. And with my new picture storage, it makes it so easy to find what picture I'm thinking of. So that's been awesome. Kits used to come with alphabets. Now they don't nowadays. I think I put this alphabet in here just because I was going to a crop and this is Doodlebug Red Alphabet. So what better to go with a Doodlebug Christmas collection, right? So um, normally this probably wouldn't have been in here, but I was thinking I was gonna get this done at the crop. These are Christmas photos, so I hope you guys don't mind a little Christmas um, in May or July, May, June, June, <laughs> whenever this video goes up. <laughs> so a little bit of um, late or early Christmas uh, layouts, but I need to get some of this done. And I already have, you can see my pictures with some sketches in here, which I talked about in my crop video. These are ones that I took to that last crop that I went to and just didn't have time to work on. So um, what I wanna talk today about though is die cuts. I keep my kits by, you know, the collection, as you can see here, but you can see I just throw my die cuts. So I've done a layout with this collection, and instead of putting the die cuts away back in the packaging, I don't deal with that. I, I just can't. It's just extra work for me to put them in and pull them out and put them in. But they've been laying at the bottom of my collection and they all all the stuff just collects along here and you can see this is thick this is thick more right now maybe because of some of the pictures and um i have these these are by cropper hopper i used to really like these but these are not my favorite anymore i'm not gonna lie they just don't fit well with my collections maybe they will with the way that i am doing it now um, but at this point in time, I'm not real crazy about these. Um, I will not give these away. I think they make new ones, by the way. So this was, what, Cropper Hopper? And I don't know the name of the new ones, but they still have plastic envelopes. And I don't even know where. I've had these for so many years. But they do fit in the um, Ikea cubes, by the way. I might have trimmed... Yeah, these ones were the ones with the tabs, and I just cut the tab off to make them fit. That didn't bother me at all. So, anyways... So the die cut storage, you can see I have my enamel shapes. Everything's down here at the bottom. And so the bottom of this is thick. And it's it takes up, when I have, you know, 10 of these next to each other, it takes up a lot of space in those cubbies. And I don't really mind because it seems to work out with the way that I have my cubbies in my scrap room now. Before I had my scrap room, it was a little more tight and I didn't like it my storage. It was the same way, just I didn't have as much room. But I was still thinking, so I was editing a video the other day, and I was watching myself go through the die cuts, and, and I also at the crop that I went to, I noticed that I was going through, and look, when I pull it out, here's all these die cuts everywhere. Now, the enamel shapes, I don't think I will move or take out of the packaging unless I've already used them. When I've used them, I'll take, when I, when, okay, when I do this scrapbook page, I will take these out if I want to use them, and then I'll just leave them out. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, see, you can see that I've used a few of these, so I just left them out. Those I don't really worry about. Um, I apparently got a lot of enamel dots. Oh, you know why? Because some of these went on a really good clearance price after Christmas at my local craft store. But you can see there's all these die cuts. So here I have some of the pictures. I don't even know. There could be die cuts in here. Oh, I'm excited. This is making me excited seeing these. This is my new... I can't show you everything, but this is my new... If you haven't seen my crop planning or storage. I basically, I think I can show you this one. I took pictures or screenshots, photos of what I wanted the layout to look like and I put photos in with it and I'm ready to go to the crop. One of my subscriber, subscribers, blah, Cheryl, I believe, says she gets her titles ready and her journaling ready. And let me tell you, I'm jealous of that because I don't think I could get that. Although I was thinking maybe I could type up my journaling, go through each picture and type up my journaling if I know what I'm... Oh, probably can't show you that one. But um, all I did was took pictures of my regular sketches so that I wouldn't fold up my sketches like this. And I printed them up. They are not good quality. Well, that one didn't turn out too bad. They are not good quality prints. You can see it's dark. It doesn't show a lot. But... Um, I didn't care because I didn't want my good sketches to be ruined like this and um, I can always reuse them so I'm not worried about that. Um, anyways, 
that way I can take them and do whatever I want. These were ones from a long, long time ago. I used to get really organized for crops and print up pictures from print Pinterest and all this stuff. I am not that organized anymore. But you can see I have all these die cuts just laying here and around everywhere. And some of these cute clips, they're stuck in everything. So when I was um, at the crop, I was doing a layout, and I will just tell you this while I kind of separate everything, make sure all the die cuts are out. I was doing a layout, and I don't remember which one, but I had all my die cuts set out. So there's, and I was going through them over and over and over and over again. And I thought, this is a little crazy to be going through the same die cuts over and over again. And I got a lot of papers here, not very many embellishments. I'll tell you that, maybe we might have to get creative. So um, you can see even more stuff is falling out. <laughs> Anyways, oh, here's more enamel. See, I got them a really good price. I can't remember what they were, but uh, that's the only reason I have so many of those. Anyways, so I did my layouts and stuff at the crop and I was going through them and I would get pile them up and then I'd go through them again and this one I'd want to use but then I wouldn't want to use it so I'd put it back and then I'd go through it again and I felt okay this is a little bit crazy so what I decided I got inspiration from two different videos one is RTS so if a lot of you probably already know of RTS scrapbooking Janet um, she does Go check out her die cut storage if you want to know more about the way she stores things. I drew a little bit of inspiration. I'm not going to do it the same way she does, but um, I'm going to do somewhat similar. The other one I took inspiration from, and give me just a second because I didn't think ahead to look up her name, but I don't know if I know her name, but she does videos, do, 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 and she just did one the other night, and she basically tells you gives you what to cut it at so if you like to watch people that cut it at a certain you know tell you the what to cut it at and everything um, she's a good one to watch but when she was putting her layouts together she had all her die cuts and everything set out so she would literally sit there and put everything separate so that she could see everything and I thought oh I should do that. That would be awesome. I would love that. But hang on one more second. I should have been more prepared with this, but I wasn't. Ooh, that's really cool. <laughs> Seeing all these things. Okay, so she is uh, Simple Cut Creations. I don't know her name, but she's Simple Cut Creations. So when she goes to put her pages together, but I think she only works on a, like a few things at a time. She sets them all out like this. And I thought, I like this. But I know me, especially at crops, there's not enough room for this. And at home, I get kind of messy and I don't understand why. I've been, I'm trying to be more organized with my desk and I'm trying to keep more things off of my desk. So if it's not in, my, in this kit here, then I put it away. You know, a lot of times I will pull down things like my little glue cup here. Um, and I have pins out because I was working on my Daily Life album. And I have different things out, but I gotta be better about putting them away. But when I got home that night, I was just kind of thinking a little bit about it and I decided I wanted to try something new. So what it is I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit from RTS and a little bit from Simple Cut and I'm going to put them together in one. So what RTS does is she takes paper, she actually keeps a lot of hers in like sticker albums or binders. She keeps them all different ways, which wouldn't work for me because I like to keep these die cuts because these are the milk and cookie die cuts that go with the milk and cookie collection. I want to keep them together. I don't want to have these separate. It That way, like I said, I can grab and go. So I can grab these and scrapbook, I'm ready to go. I, and if I want to go to a crop, if I don't make a bunch of time planning to plan, if I run out of complete time and the crop is Friday morning, I can grab a few kits Thursday night, toss them in my bag, and I'm ready to go. That's what I love. So I didn't want to keep them separate like she does. She keeps all her die cuts and everything many different places. Like I said, go check out her video. Um, and Simple Cut spreads them all out, but I just don't, I know that I won't have room and that things will get pushed and shoved around. I'm trying to be a little more organized, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna fool myself, right? So what I want to do is I want to spread them out 
and glue them down. Simple cut, spreads them out. RTS glues them down. So that's what I'm going to do. So I went and got this mm, adhesive, these adhesive squares that RTS suggests, and they are pretty good price if you get them on a coupon. And mine, I used a few already. So I'm just trying to pull this little tab out. You could take them out of the box if you wanted, but you don't have to. Now this is something that would work for some of you. This is something that you probably look at and go, oh my gosh, why are you wasting all your time doing that? But I will tell you, I've already done this with one collection, actually two collections, and I love it. But again, this is still beginning trial and error. So I might change this, but I will update you as I go along if I do change it. So these are the um, double-sided mounting squares and I got the repositionable ones because I don't want these to be permanent. Even if they were, um, <clears throat> there, there's just one square on each die cut so I can move them around. These recollection ones are the best ones to get because I got a different brand one time and they didn't tear. These ones you can tear very easily and make smaller ones for your smaller little die cuts that you might have. Um, I don't see any right at the moment. Maybe like this spoon where the whole square wouldn't fit but now I, since I cut it in half I can just tape that on there. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> ah, excuse me my voice just is not being helpful today. It never is when I make videos so I give up. Um, I just need to keep a glass of water in here, I think. So what I'm going to do is take some of these die cuts and I'm just going to flip them over. Now the one collection I did so far, because it was a huge collection, it was actually my Doodlebug Simply Spring in the Easter collection that I had together because it was two, basically two collections in one. Um, since it was those two together, I put them by color, which I will probably do depending on how many die cuts I have. This one wouldn't really, <clears throat> well, I'll talk about that in just a second. So as far as dividing them, this one I won't do by color, but I might do by shape or whatever. So here there's like a little kitchen set die cut piece, and I did a layout. I don't know if I recorded it, but I did a layout where I used a bunch of these pieces as a scene for the background, and it turned out so cute. Um, so here's a chimney. These ones can all go together because they're just kind of random. Like there's a little play kitchen. This would be really cute if you had a little girl. It doesn't even have to be um, a Christmas. There's a lot of things in here that would work for non-Christmas too. So there is um, like these muffins, these cakes, although this has holly berry in the top, but this milk and cookies, um, the coffee cups, the spoons, the milk cup. There's a lot of things you could do with these. Um, with, that are not Christmas related, but I really like the gingerbread men. So before I, but what I'm going to do is just adhere them. And I'm going to use car, I'm going to use cardstock because it won't be as flimsy in the page protector. I buy the, I just got a bunch of these on sale. They were three for 10 at Michael's. So, and you can even use a 20% off coupon on that sometimes if you can find the right time. Um, so that's plenty of cardstock for me. And not only that, but I can use this cardstock again and again. When I'm done with this collection, I can either add die cuts from a new collection or I can use it as mounting my photos because once these are on, so these are on, these pull up really rather easy. See? So, um, I don't know if the permanent squares are any different. I'm sure that Janet from RTS might talk about that a little more. So this is my new die cut storage and I'm going to fill up this sheet. Before I do that, for these ones, like I said, I kind of, the other collection, I divided by um, color. This one I'm going to do by shape. So maybe here's Mrs. Claus and here's Candy and Gingerbread Men. So we do, we do cookies and gingerbread houses every year. So I'll probably put the candy. Um, the cupcakes and cakes, like that I said you could do a, maybe I will try to see if I can do a, I wonder if I could do a video without doing Christmas. I'll look at that and I, if I can do a video, I'll show you how to use a Christmas collection that's not Christmassy, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not. Um, a lot of these have holly on them, but um, anyway, so here's milk. 
Milk might go, milk could go with the hot chocolate. Maybe I'll just make a drink section in the spoons. Whisks would be more of a baking thing. So maybe I'll put baking kind of over here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time really thinking about it. I'm just kind of going with it. So this is candy. This is like a coffee cup or creamer bowl. Let's put all the baking. Well, this is like a bowl. Never mind. This is milk. So I'm just gonna go through here. Here's some hearts. <clears throat> Here's a cupcake. Here's a cookie. So I'm going to put it with the cookies, although making cookies. So that one, I'm not really sure about it, but I think milk and cookies. So, um, I, yeah, I'll just leave that for now. The, all the title words, I will probably just leave in a pile. Bowls will go in one. These aren't going to be very far from each other, so it's okay if it doesn't touch. You know what I mean? If it's not in the same category. Um, the Mrs. Claus, I think as far as just like Christmas stuff, I will put in a pile. Here's more cookies. I'll just put them there with the milk. Here's a spoon. It could go either baking or um, the milk and cookies because you mix. So here's a milk and cookies it says right there. Some cupca cupcakes. These are little vellum shapes. Oh, but they're candies. I will talk about these in a few minutes. A cat with a hat. So that would just go with um, the kind of the Christmassy decoration things. If I knew where that layout was that I made, I would grab it and show you, but it would take me a while to find it. So candy, a tree, there's some more milk, more candy. Again, like I said, we, this all this would go towards the um, sugar cookies and baking. There's more milk. Wow, there's a lot of milk and eggnog, which we don't drink, but you could always make it look like a milk container if you wanted. These little weird, who remembers these hard candies from when we were young? I liked those. I don't even know if they still make those, but those were yummy. <clears throat> at least they were when we were young. I would, probably wouldn't care for them anymore. Um, a rolling pin. See, I think all these baking goods would do really good for um, the making cookies page because, you know, you use all those things, mixing bowls and etc. And then the Santa on the chair, that would be good for if somebody, you know, if you, when you go sit on Santa's lap, that would go really cute with that. And you can add all this stuff onto any page. It doesn't have to be the milk and cookies on a page about milk and cookies. You can add that on a Christmas page of any Christmas page, like sitting on Santa's lap, because it's still all Christmas related. And f furthermore, if you like it on the page, then you can add it on there for whatever reason you want, because that's your page, right? December 25th, I'll just put with the Christmas. There's the candy. Here's another heart. I'll just put there. I have two hearts, apparently, so far. A little cooking mitt. I am loving these die cuts. The other thing that I really like about doing this is I find a lot of inspiration as I go along. These are a couple enamel shades. I'll put them with the cookies. Um, I've already got a few ideas in my head about how I might want to put these together. Um, now, just to show you, there's a couple of these cupcakes, which we don't really do cupcakes or anything. These could go on the baking page. These could go on the cookie page. These could go on any page you wanted. If you didn't want to use them for Christmas, you could always put these in with a different doodle bug collection and use them there because their colors are all going to be the same. So that is also that. So here is kind of Christmas decor. So I'm going to finish off. I have my piles. So I'm just going to turn these over and I won't do all of these on camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me glue down all these pieces. I just kind of wanted to, you guys to get, oh, I got to get going here in just a minute anyway. I wanted you guys to get the idea of what... I'm going to do with these. And so that way, when I'm putting a layout together, I don't have to sit here and go through my die cuts every time. Um, I, I think that this would just be a time saver times 100. Um, plus there's been times when I've finished a layout and found a die cut and been like, oh, that would have looked really cute on that other page, you know, beside the tree or that cat would have looked really good on that page underneath the Christmas tree. I wish I would have known I had the cat, but, um, Anyway, so I'm just putting all of these on here. Again, I won't show you all of them. I'm just doing a few here for you to see. I'm gonna put this big word Christmas since it goes really well along the top there. It looks like it'll fit perfectly. Although I'm probably gonna end up using this right away. I plan to do probably these layouts next, um, but look at that, fits right up there. And I'm only gluing down the middle. I'm not worried. This one's sticking up because I bent it a little bit. Now I have this December 25th acetate piece. Now there's a couple things you could do. 
When I put a piece like this on, I like to hide it wherever I tuck it in, the glue. But since this piece is just going on to this cardstock for now, I'm gonna actually use a glue dot. I'm gonna use two of my mini glue dots and I'm gonna hide them behind the red. So you can see behind the red and white pieces that go around the outside, I'm gonna put one on this side, gonna go right behind the red. Then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put one behind the red on the top. So now there's two sticky pieces and it'll fit perfectly right there and it'll stay down. It might pull up a little bit of the white cardstock, but I can always rub the little glue dot off if you guys get what I mean. So now when I'm doing my project, so all these will be glued on. Same thing with these ones. I will only put maybe one glue dot and I will put it maybe in the middle or behind the S. Somewhere I think that I might tuck it under or have something on there. Um, you can usually rub glue dots off after a while. Um, like I said, this is trial and error, so I will let you know how I feel about that. But usually the acetate, it's really hard to see the mini glue dots behind these. Um, oops, that's a candy that goes in, not the heart pile. So I just thought I would let you know. So like on this heart one, I would take one of these red dots because they're darker, and I would hide the glue dot behind that red dot. Mm, excuse me. So anyways, I'm going to do, the other thing I decided was I'm only going to do one side of my cardstock. You could do both sides, but when I'm slipping it in and out, I don't want it to catch on one another. So I decided that I'm just going to do one side. And um, like I said, I can reuse them, so I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> so now I will go ahead and I will put all the milk and cookies down here, and then I will continue on from there. And I will come back and I will let you know how it looks in the very end. So I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so now I am done and I have put all the die cuts onto the papers and I put them kind of as I divided them, like I showed you guys. So this is kind of more just Christmassy stuff. The milk and cookies started here, then the kind of the cakes and cupcakes and then all the candy pieces and then the hearts. So um, now instead of when I'm done with this collection, um, although I probably won't end up putting this collection back away when I'm done doing these next few layouts I will probably just um, since I have so many more Christmas I like I've mentioned I'll probably just cut these down and put them in my daily life but now instead of having all my die cuts sitting at the bottom of a bag they are nice and and they'll take up less room in the um, in the Ziploc bag that they go in. Um, the other thing that I kind of like about this, now I don't plan to go and do this with every collection. Um, I just figured maybe as I pulled my collections to work on them, I would probably do this because it would just, it really only took me a few minutes to do um, once I divided them. I think dividing them almost takes a little longer than putting them on the white cardstock. But, um, and you don't, like I said, you don't even have to divide them if you didn't want. I just kind of like, you know, because sometimes I'm looking for a heart shape, so I might go there. Um, and this is trial and error for me at this point to see how I really like this and what works the best for me. Um, this took me, uh, I, this is a couple days later um, coming back, so it might not take that much time, but um, I couldn't get back to the video that same day. So I don't really know exactly the amount of time that it took me to do this. So, um, but I really wanted to show you guys this and I figured this way when you saw me doing videos and you see me with these cardstock sheets of, of these things, you'll wonder, well, what is that? So now you guys will know. Um, what it is and I will keep you updated. I will do this with a few collections. I've done it with one collection so far and I liked it. Um, I will do it with another collection or I will do it with a few more collections. Now after I do this video I plan to go ahead and get started with the photos and layouts that I have ready for this and even when I'm done and ready to put them in my daily life, cut them up for my daily life, I can simply, you know, because a lot of these will be used up by then, I can simply just take um, a six by six sheet of paper or maybe even cut down one of these to six by six or something to go in with my all my other pieces that I cut down. And I can just take them off here and put them on that one and put new die cuts on these ones. So um, I'm kind of excited about this because I, I feel like this, instead of, you know, going through each die cut over and over and over, trying to find that heart, because I knew I had a heart that was red striped, then um, this will be just make this a lot easier. So 
I'm going to give it a try and I will keep you guys updated. Um, let me know below what you guys think and if this is something that would work for you. And if not, totally okay. I understand. I even took that little piece of uh, that had the two enamel shapes left and I just stuck it to there too. So um, yeah, I figured I might I have it here and it's tiny. So I might as well add it on there. So I, I'm excited about this, especially knowing that it didn't take very long to glue them down. And they pop up really easy. I mean, that was a few days ago that I did this and it just pulls right off. Uh, this part sometimes stays on the cardstock and sometimes it stays on here. And not only that, but then you still have a little bit of adhesive on your die cut piece when you pull it off. So when you go to put it on your page, it will. I will add a little more adhesive because I just don't trust those squares for permanent. Um, and just because I like to add a little more adhesive nowadays after finding things were falling off. But um, so yeah, so I mean, they peel off super easy. I haven't had a problem yet, so you can see. Um, and yeah, and it's kind of cool actually if this glue is still on here, which not for storing. Um, this is the first time that I've had them. When I did this before with the other collection, they came off on the die cut. See, that one came off on the die cut, but you can tell it doesn't rip, it doesn't do anything. So really nice. Um, I'm happy with it and I'm excited to give this a try. So I will keep you guys updated. All right, bye.